Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Witcher Blind. So last time we did finally hunt down Berengar in the crypt. Hi, Alvin. Um, and I believe he's looking for Alvin. Go away, Alvin. I guess we'll find out. Um, after Berengar or wherever he leads me, we're going to be uh, turning in a couple quests. Got to buy some bread from a baker. Um, find an elf to turn in some centipede carapaces, uh, some other things. We'll see how far we get. So, let's hop right in. Berengar, tell me your tale. All right, what's so urgent? I'd best start at the beginning. What's your connection to Salamandra? What the hell? It's a simple story. They found me some time ago, and the professor made me an offer I couldn't refuse. You know the kind. Help us, or we'll feed you your balls. I did what I had to do. It's funny. They remind me of witchers. Never had a choice, with them or you. The witchers made me a mutant. The professor made me a criminal. An outcast twice over. I escaped as soon as I could. They got nothing out of me. I didn't sell anyone out. And then I came here. Oh boy. Alright, let's unpack all this nonsense because... As the first choice says, I feel like he's skimming over a lot of very important details. Let's see. Yeah, let's let's break this gently with him first. You mentioned an imperfection in my defense. Yes. You leave your groin open when you do a half spin. A beginner would notice. I even know why. Care to tell me? To do a half spin correctly, you need to have both legs in working order. One of yours was crushed once. Possibly. So it goes. Live by the sword, die by the sword. Interesting. All right. All righty. You mentioned a suit of armor? You don't know the legend? I thought every little witcher had heard it. Tell me. The legend, as legends do, tells of a great warrior. It's more boring than Dandelion's ballad about you, which is hardly possible. But it turns out our hero employed witcher's fighting techniques while wearing armor. Was he a witcher? Who knows? Sounds interesting. They called him Raven. Hmm. He had connections to gnome inventors with superior technical knowledge. In their secret workshops beneath Mount Carbon, they created a suit of armor both durable and light. Perfect for a witcher. Ooh. A legendary suit of armor. I should do some treasure hunting. Good luck. I suspect Raven was buried in it, and I have long scoured cemeteries in hopes of finding it. Know anyone who could tell me more about the armor? The local blacksmith is an inventor and knows the legend. You could also try the elven handyman. I'll do that. Yeah. Great. Okay. I heard you're attempting to resolve the conflict between humans and the Vodianoi. What? Did they send you here to dissolve my contract? Fine by me. Take it. What contract? The one negotiating a peace between humans and the Vodianoi. Both sides came to me. I have no intention of pursuing it, and the job will fit your sainted <laughs> legend perfectly. Do I sense envy? Don't flatter yourself. I have only contempt for people like you. Don't digress. My take? Call one of the two sides, and the rest will fall into place. Great. Know where I can find the friendly Vodian priest? By the Lady of the Lake's altar on the shore. Sometimes the dragon worshippers drive him away, so wait for him. If it's not beneath you. I see. Yeah. Hmm. I have the distinct feeling you're not telling me everything. How perceptive. There is one more thing. Salamandra wants Alvin. I don't know why, but he's important to them. They sent me here to find him, but I have no intention to. I just want to earn some irons and leave, for good. So, you know nothing more about the attack on Kaer Morin, about the stolen Witcher's formulae? Not a thing. Then I have just one request. Stay away from Alvin. Yeah. Huh. Farewell. Really? Oh, okay. Okay. I feel better. I was like, was is that really the end of that? But um 
Thank goodness that is not the end of it. My gosh. Everything updated. Ama. Oh, Too bad I can't track that. Blacksmith and the Elven Craftsman. Where am I right now? Uh, let's go down to Murky Waters. See if we can find a baker. Then... We'll make it back over to the elves and hopefully help them. Let's see what happens. Blacksmith is still out and about, really? Huh. Yes? Ooh. Berenger mentioned you know the legend of Raven. I know nothing about the legend. I'm more interested in technology. That armor was a breakthrough in armor design. Made possible by advances in metallurgy and smelting. Very interesting. About the armor. I can tell you about its qualities. Good, but remember I know little about metallurgy or smithery. Three elements remain of Raven's armor. A spalder, a rear brace, and a gauntlet. The highest quality iron ores and state-of-the-art technologies were used in its making. Not some useless Timerian smelting pots. The gnomes surpass us technologically by an age. Beneath Mount Carbon, they have blast furnaces and quenching tanks. Equipment beyond our reach. Hmm. Can you tell me about the armor? As you wish. The technologies I mention allow for the production of steel both hard and flexible, essentially indestructible. As I said, only parts of the armor remain. To recreate the entire suit, you must find replacement material and someone to assemble the parts. Any suggestions? Search crypts where great knights were interred. I heard the counts of the Reuter dynasty wore similar armor. Pieces of that should be reforgeable. Hmm. Okay. Can you reassemble a shattered mirror? For 100 orans. Great. Deal. Take the pieces. I'll pay you when you're done. Okay. All right. Need to find the notes of an elven minstrel and what remains of Raven's armor. <sighs> Let's see here. Probably have to go to the inn to pass time. Yeah, cause uh, everyone's dead. Well, not everybody. Beastie Beta? Know where I can find the friendly Vodian priest? He's often sitting by the altar of the Lady of the Lake. I see. Great. Okay, well, I guess, uh, I guess we need to go make a trip. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna kinda poke around a little bit, see what I can find. I'll be back in just a little bit. Oh, here we go. I've taken Beringer's job. Decided to handle this problem myself. We have a serious problem. The underwater city is the source of the village's wealth. A while back, a group of our divers went missing. Later, we found their boat adrift. Inside, it was Slaughter Witcher. Someone cut them to bits. Then we learned the Vodjanoi worship a monster that thirsts for human blood. They make bloody sacrifices to it on the island. If you eliminated that monstrosity... Have you tried talking to the Vodjanoi? That makes no sense. They don't understand our language. Anyway, the underwater ruins are of a human city. We're fully entitled to what's there. Mm. Kill Dagon. That's the monster's name. The entire village will be grateful, and I'll give you one of my grandfather's diamonds. Hmm. I'll think about it. Hmm. Feel like I gotta get more information on that one. All right, we need to get to the baker. Buy a braid because we just rested up. The daytime, so we can buy that bread for the elves and maybe talk to the Vodianoi at that point. Get a little bit more on this particular problem that's plaguing. 
this area of the world. Nothing is ever straightforward. I'm assuming that if I take a little bit of time, do a little bit of research, I'll probably find my way into a much less straightforward situation, which is the point of a Witcher, right? Witcher operates in the grays. Between the monsters and the... and the humans. Help. I've got 20... Bread is five orange a loaf. And well, that was easy enough. There we go. Alright. Got it. Bite a bite. Off to the elves! Unless I get interrupted on my way. I will see you guys in a moment. Oop, but, uh, hmm. I dreamt I was a witcher fighting this monster, and I wasn't afeard at all! Only fools feel no fear. Villagers say Berengar's afraid to kill some giant fish. Not you. I want to be a witcher. Do you think it's fun? Sure. One like you, not like Berengar. Witchers are so brave. They never grow ill. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hmm. We never get sick, but that costs us. And then there's pain. Would you like to hurt badly? No. Can't I become a witcher without that? No. I'm not sure then. <laughs> well, there you go. Yeah. Becoming a witcher is not straightforward. <sighs> it's difficult. It's difficult. Where am I going? That's the crypt. Let's keep going this way, Jax. Good times. Hello, Berengar. Still, uh, chilling by your campfire, I see. Good on you, I guess? Mm hmm. <laughs> there might be some wolfies around here. I guess we'll find out momentarily. Or a Dagon worshiper. Oh, there's several of them here. Hello. Leave everyone alone. Thank you. Okay, Friendly Priest is still here. Good. Let's talk to Friendly Priest. Talk. Gulpul Talhul. I've taken Berenger's job. Tell me about this conflict. We underwater live deep. We lady love, yet not all. Many Dagon love, Lady Leave. The humans kill. I plead your sword, Dagon, tis love. I give reward. I see. Big blood bovine in village, Dagon for her come. This love, Dagon, I give reward. Something sword, something wonderful. You want me to steal the cow and use it to bait Dagon? This love big blood bovine on altar. Dagon come from deep. I'm supposed to kill it on the altar. Prefer human sacrifice. Urarlalu. Hmm. Okay. You know what? Why the heck not? All right. I'll lure the cow to the altar and kill Dagon. Hulk. Gulpul Talu. Okay. Look, I'm no cowherd, so I don't quite know how to lure the big blood bovine. 
Fruits and nuts. Big blood bovine love fruits and nuts. Fruits and nuts? Those peasants are mad. <laughs> he likes fruits and nuts. Alright, I guess we gotta figure that one out. Maybe I need to purchase some and then, uh... Leave... I, I don't know, leave, like, Reese's Pieces Trail, like, in E.T.? <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Hmm. Well, let's go check out the elves. See if they got anything else going on. And then we'll see about luring this big blood bovine <laughs> out to the altar. <laughs> There they are. Hey, what are you doing over here? Making a mess of things, that's what you're doing. Okay, let's not do that anymore, shall we? Thanks. Can, can I talk? No. Oh, oh, there you go. I... You can go no further. Okay. How about this elf? Guess he can go no further as well. Alright. Oh, a craftsman. Yes? Uh... There we you go. hear about the notice. Do you have the giant centipede armor? Here. Finally. I'll be able to progress with my work. Take this pouch for your toil. Great. What did I get? 250 orns. That's not bad. Yes? I'm looking for information on Raven's armor. The legendary witch's armor. It has unique magical qualities. I'm listening. It was made in the gnome's workshops, but finished by elves. The songmaster, Tayin Sao, took an interest in Raven's armor and worked for 12 days straight, each movement of his chisel accompanied by a song of power. Legend says that in battle, the armor sang for Raven a song of victory, adding to his confidence and calming him. A beautiful story. Do you know if any records of these songs remain? I would look in crypts if I were you. Find the tomb of the elven songmaster. Objects belonging to him in life must lie in or near his sarcophagus. Okay, then. Farewell. <clears throat> well, I've already been in one of the crypts. I guess I gotta go to the other one? Maybe? Drivel. Maybe I will provide... <laughs> okay. Oh, I played, uh, I think I played some, uh, some dice with them. Yes? I bought bread. I'm pleased we didn't misplace our trust. Here, five loaves. I thank you. Moments like these make me think we can end this spiral of hatred. And accept each other as we are. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, we leveled up again. Wait, what is this? Yeah, I definitely won't save him from starving. What is this? Elven Cave. Hello? Oh. I haven't the... I've brought food. We must now accept charity from Dwan. Yup. Oh, wait. Do I have food? I do humans have. find that amusing? Yes. Quite amusing. I'm sorry. I, I don't... I didn't know I was offering food. My bad. I'm tired of fleeing. I've brought food. What's that? H have I? I don't have any food. Geralt, stop! Stop offering food with things- oh, wait, here we go. I Be reasonable. You need food. I want to help. Help? Oh. No. You want to demonstrate superiority by throwing food at me as if I were wild. 
Cease your patronizing human. I'm not patronizing you. When I went hungry, I received help from unexpected sources. I don't need your pity. You elves will never change. You ignore the obvious. A beggar, even when arrogant, remains unimpressive, even ridiculous. So, you've come to laugh, to marvel at freaks. Now I'm angry. You speak of anger. You. I would beat you so hard you'll remember me. You. Calm down. It'll be all right. What? Hey, what? Hey, what? How did... I just... What? So... I gave her some food. She got mad at me. I got mad at her. She said she was gonna mm. kick my butt. And then we made love by the campfire. I cannot wait to fight. I don't get it. <laughs> uh, this game, this game. I'm Well, good for you, I guess. Wow. Mm. And now she's probably hungry again. Because we just used up all of her stamina. How about you, Mr. Elf? I'm returning to the Blue Mountains. I've brought food. We must now accept... Yeah, sure, why not? Here, have some. Thank you. Say no more. In exchange, I shall tell you about Mandrake Root and the Hand Fiber. Both oh. valuable herbs. Nice. Cool. Except I already knew about them. That's okay. Thanks. Anyway. Ish. Hmm. Whoops. There we go. Hmm. I guess we'll talk to this other elf and see if we can offer him food. Maybe we can have sex with him too. I've brought. We must now. Say no. In exchange. Oh, we've. Yeah. Okay. No, just more recipes. No more sex. <sighs> oh, game. Oh, game, oh, game, oh, game. Hi, Alvin. Be I'm glad good. you stayed here. That would have been difficult to explain to the child. <sighs> <sighs> well, I'm like 90% sure the crypt over here is not the crypt you want. Um, but I am going to go and poke my nose into the fields and see if we find anything of interest over here. And then we'll head back to the town, I suppose, and try to get the big blood bovine <laughs> over to the altar and sacrifice it. So I will see you guys then. Okay, so I've checked both crypts. Um, not really finding anything, but I've noticed, as I've gone back to take a look through it, I've noticed that the armor shows up in chapter five as well. I wish it was pretty obvious about this, but I have a feeling that I won't be able to finish this until chapter five, which is mildly frustrating, but um, it is what it is, I guess. Um, yeah. Oh well. Uh, Alright, so next on our list is uh, going to be the cow. Let's check on the cow. Okay, what do we do here? Mm -hmm. Moo yourself. As I picked up a bunch of raspberries out in the fields. Did that not work? Mm. Hmm, that's not working. Okay, so fruits and nuts. Is there anything else I can give it? Uh, what about this? 
Nope. I'm confused. I don't know what to give the cow. Hmm. Lordy, lordy. I'm t Yeah. Is my mirror like new? Now, 100 RNs? Nice. Here. Okay. Yes. Meanwhile, let's do some purchasing. Here, I back.